Hello students. I hope uh, you understood the concept by the use of a 3D model in my previous video. In this problem, we are going to tell you how you are going to do it manual sketching. Initially, we are going to draw x y line VPHP. Draw hexagon. And first thing is you are going to draw a circle. The radius is 25, which is going to be equal to the side length. It is going to be resting it on corner. So corner should be in the left side as we follow. We are going to cut a radius 25 from the diagonal both in the left side and on the right side. It is going to be symmetrically we are going to cut it. Then we are going to join this by thick lines. Line thickness is 0.5 as we are going to do it in the solid software. So we are going to give the dimensions. Twenty five A dash B dash. B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash. We are going to do the projections in order to get the top view, and those projections should be in thin lines. Top view should be thick line. Do not forget to make it dark. This is A, F is seen, B is not seen, E is seen, C is not seen, D is seen. The diagonal is going to be inclined 45 degrees with respect to VP. If it is on VP, you are going to see the inclination with respect to VP. That is nothing but A dash D dash. In the top it is AD. AD is inclined 45 degrees. You are going to draw a line using the protractor. 45 degrees. I'm going to take the distance from A to F. Take the distance. Cut an arc. A to C. Cut an arc. A to D. Cut an arc. And that should be thin line you are going to rub it after completion of this. This is E, this is C, e, this is D. Then we are going to do the projections. And those lines should be in thin lines. for the intersection point this say for the intersection point this is a dash this is b dash this is c dash d dash a dash f dash so a to b join b to c d to e e to f and f to a so this is the front view and the diagonal appears 30 degrees with respect to VP. So this is the easiest one because the second step is going to be inclined. When you find the word appears, it's easy because they are given the apparent inclinations. The third step is going to be with the apparent inclinations. It is going to have the inclination with respect to VP and also with respect to HP. So we are going to draw the diagonals that is going to be inclined 30 degrees. This is going to be with respect to HP. Take it, cut an arc. This is A dash, D dash, so with the taking the distance from A dash to F dash and A dash to B dash and D dash to E dash and D to dash to C dash is same, so we are going to cut it. Next, I am going to take the distance from A dash to E dash to get the intersection points. A dash to E dash will be equals to A dash to C dash will be equals to D dash to B dash and D dash to F dash. So with the compass, I will measure it and cut an arc. From A, I will cut it. Now, I am going to join those 
intersection points a dash to b dash to c dash to d dash to e dash to f dash here f dash e dash b dash c dash is parallel to the diagonal a dash d dash similarly the third problem also a dash d dash diagonal which is equal inclined to 30 degrees similarly e dash f dash should be parallel and should be inclined to 30 degrees b dash c dash should also be inclined to 30 degrees and should be parallel to the diagonal we go to the projections here it is 30 degrees inclined what is given is nothing but an apparent inclination with respect to hp that is alpha projection of this a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and f dash so we are going to write the annotations or else you can just a to, a to b to c to d to e to f and to a this point is a v c d e f i hope you understood uh, how to draw it if you want to understand the concept you can go for my previous video with respect to the 3d model thank you for watching and have a good day